if Nigeria was a book. The story would start from 99, but from the birth of Nigeria on Florashaw's thigh. The two would tell the story of how three brothers fought blindly to the end. If Nigeria was a book, it will be a thriller, running into chapters of scary doomsday Shiva. No one ever had a chance to choose his race, tribe, or religion, but I grew up to be labeled Nigeria in this region. If Nigeria was a book, it will never fail to talk about the glorious days of bounty, those moments when there was a country. It too will talk about the beginning of dark days, the usher in gory moments when things began to fall apart. If Nigeria was a book, it will take a look at many chapters while the soldiers of fortune struck, tasted from the grill of power and got drunk. The khaki boys, silence of voice, the smoke and gun, and stick our eyes were gum. It will talk about the ocean of blood that washed away the humanity. Humanity the bonded our belief, tribes, and nationality. If Nigeria was a book, I hope some pages don't resurrect the beast, the spirit of Biafra when the sun set in the east. It will have a full chapter on death and King Zosman. If Nigeria was a book, the trial of Uncle Jero under the watch of OBJ and all the jurors were shared. But since 1999, the story took a twist. A new decoration of old lies. Era of madmen and specialists began to squat a lot, boom. They came with them, an umbrella and multicolored brooms. Power is heavy, heavily pregnant with politics, wealth and death. She needs to give birth. Sally, she's lame. We can't question where she stops to take a rest, but surely the girls are not to be blamed.